how I discovered Frank's slide. I was looking through a scrambling book, trying to find my next challenge, and I flipped the page and found Turtle Mountain. It was the type of story that you thought about it way after you put the book down. And after thinking about it for a little bit, I knew I had to see this mountain for myself. Frank's slide is a special piece of Canadian history, and I wasn't gonna go on this trip by myself. So I decided to take my wife and my two friends and our dogs on this trip. Hey, Charlie. Charlie. We got two hounds and four people in this. So we lived at Red Deer at the time, and to make it to Frank's slide from Red Deer, it's about four hours drive. So we got up in the morning at five o'clock, packed up, headed out around six. Now we were all super tired. I had no sleep before and pretty much everyone else had a couple hours sleep. We were excited though and ready to hit the road. Is on another adventure. <laughs> yeah, come, puppy. Charlie, say hi to the fans. <laughs> Charlie, we don't care about the fans. Do you have any words? No one has seen you <laughs> since the dog race. Now, first up is the Basset Hound Charlie. Charlie is absolutely useless for everything. He has a ton of energy and mainly uses it for destructive purposes. We predict that he will rank very high in today's race due to the amount of retarded energy that he possesses. The Basset is just cur. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a pee. He don't care about the thing. <laughs> So we hit the road early this morning. We uh, left, we got up at five, left at around 6.30. Beautiful day, absolutely beautiful. Um, another hour and we'll hit Turtle Mountain. Either way, we're a ways from so we'll where drive, the trail is. Drive yeah. to the trailhead. Let's go to Blairmore. So this, this looks like the peak. Okay. Based on topographical map. And there's the trailhead down there. So this actually takes us along the ridge line of the mountain. Yeah. Wow. So I, that's I the North Peak or whatever. So okay. we we'll have to go down into Crow's Nest Pass and then up 20th Avenue to Blair Bar. When we're down here, we're going to have our trailhead and then we'll hike up this way. Charlie is like, I hope you both fall off the mountain, and then after you both Take fall the off the mountain, I hope the mountain falls, Street, then and then on YouTube, <laughs> and, then on YouTube <laughs> and I'm going to walk away and start my own new wolf pack, and I'm going to take, take uh, Luna Bell as my bride, and we will make the most dominant wolf pack in these woods. All right, so Turtle Mountain Trailhead, um, total height 2,100 meters, elevation gain 760 meters, distance one way, uh, 2.8 clicks. Sounds like a piece of cake, Brandon. Almost waste of our time, but we'll do it anyway since we're here. <laughs> I mean, we did come all this way. <laughs> Might as well. Brendan, look, it's a Luna Bell Charlie. I see. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are here for moral support. <laughs> They're nothing more than extra baggage we really didn't need, but. <laughs> <laughs> but we loved them. But we loved them. <laughs> we just left the trailhead and. We are on one of the most exciting journeys we have been on to date. Definitely seems like one of the uh, less technically difficult hikes that we've decided to do.
Are you good, Brennan? Yeah. Way, way deeper here than it looks like. I, about three feet deep. Uh, that or more. Because I went down and it just kept going down, but I pulled <laughs> myself out. We'll hold our ground on the trail we're going. Listen to that wind. Or, oh, is that wind or a jet? It'll be wild up there. Okay. We're following this tree line here. So it doesn't appear to be a ton of snow other than this spot here. But we go out and we're in three, four feet of snow. Along the edge, we often walk on the bare ground, but we're not so fortunate at this moment. Mountains making us work. We're currently sneaking on at six. One step at a time. Right there, if you look out there at the mountain beside us, I was going to say that's going to be a reference of kind of what we're doing, but I'd almost say it doesn't look as steep. Oh, yeah. In some places it's as steep and steeper, but... It's all tough well, stuff. So Each one's its own animal. <laughs> all right, let's rock. Twenty-five foot scramble. And it is super windy up here. There was a spot where, as I was hiking up the face, the wind was literally pushing me up as I was climbing up the mountain. All right, well. Made it to the top here. Uh, I believe that this is uh, the North Peak of Turtle Mountain here uh, by the Frank Slide. gentlemen we just made it through the rocks and uh, wow that was steep um, going down it is always way harder than going up it so yeah, she was steep but uh, now we get the fun part we get to slide so you slide with me Whee! get to I got my snow pants on and I can slide down the mountain should have my gators on. I got them in my backpack, but we'll be back home in an hour, so. There we go, all right. I'm gonna continue sliding down this hill, so. Brandon, what are you about to show us? Well, it's super steep here. We're finally getting into some snow, so it's a lot safer to do it here, but I was utilizing it while we were going down the shale because it was super steep. I'm using my uh, walking stick as a brace and just moving forward, letting uh, gravity pull me down. It's almost like he's booting. Just like that, and there he goes down the mountain. Well, all in all, it was a fantastic experience, a very educational experience for sure. We uh, kind of underestimated Turtle Mountain, but uh, definitely enjoyed the hike and it definitely, uh, definitely cut our own trail for this one, so 
Yep. We'll have to agree that that uh, the hard trail rating is valid, but uh, <laughs> at the same time, we did blaze our own trail. What do we rate our own trail? If people want to copy what we just did. It, it was it was pretty hard. I'd say at least uh, the last half to third of it, or third to one half of it was uh, pretty much scrambling up on all fours, or a variation of all fours, and uh, just hands and knees even. There were times where we were just hands and knees crawling up because the snow was so deep. What do you think in this place, because when I, when I seen this, I never heard the story of Turtle Mountain, and when I, at first I was quite excited, but I didn't want to convey that, ex, we, I didn't want to convey the insensitivity, an insensitivity to how it devastated multiple families. Uh, how, what, how would you explain this journey between excitement and not, how was it for you? Well, it was, it was, uh, it was an interesting hike to just, experience nature um, also it was humbling to witness how powerful nature is um, and you know you have to have to give it huge amounts of respect because things like the frank slide do happen and you don't know if or when it's going to happen so be mindful as you tread through nature. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the hike as much as we did. We'll see you later. Make sure you subscribe for more content if you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. The mountains. A very mean and unforgiving place, but at the same time, a very beautiful place. I want to be very clear when I say do not attempt anything you have seen in this film without the necessary qualifications and experience. For both Brandon and I have been doing this for many number of years and have slowly worked our way up to this level. The wilderness is no joke, so don't treat it like one. Start slow, work your way up. If you have no experience, that could be as simple as setting up a tent in your living room. Then after that, sleep in your backyard. Slowly work your way up step by step and make sure you're always surround yourself with professionals that can guide you along the way and keep you safe. Hope you enjoyed this film. We will see you on the next adventure. Make sure you subscribe for more episodes. Please note that any products seen in this video were only used by personal preference and were not sponsored by any companies.